Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. In this lecture, we will see what is the integrating factor. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Stafford Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various video. In the last lecture, we have seen that uh, any of the first order or first degree differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy is exact when this condition will satisfy. And when this condition will satisfy, then you can easily find the solution through this equation. But sometimes the equation is not be the exact. For example, if you consider this differential equation, what is the value of the m and n? If you find them, you can see that this is not the exact. So once this is not exact, then you are unable to find the solution through this approach. Then how you can find the solution of this problem? For that, we will need to discuss an integrating factor so that we are able to find the solution of this problem. What is the integrating factor is? So if the differential equation of this form is not exact, then we have to make them exact by multiplying some function f. That is, we when if this is not the exact function, exact differential equation, we have to multiply this differential equation by something and that function is called as the integrating factor. So whatever you have to multiply that is called as the integrating factor. Make sure that you have to multiply that factor which make them a uh, exact p. For example, if, if I revisit the example again here, if I try to sum, multiply this by 1 by x square, then this will be here. Again, you can compare this with the help of the m dx plus n dy, then your new m will be y by x square and n will be my, if I separate them, will be here. Then you can check whether this will be the exact or not. It, it is nothing but my here and if you find this value, it is my here. You can see that both are same. It means this is my exact. Now this will exact with the help of only 1 by x square. So therefore, this update, this 1 by x square is called as integrating factor. So the term 1 by x square makes the differential equation to the exact. So we call as 1 by x square is exact integrating factor. But the rule is that how you can find the integrating factor. This is by heat and trial I have used as a 1 by x square. Now we will see in this lecture how you can find the integrating factors. So first of all we can simply remark for you uh, differential equation m dx plus n dy always has the integrating factor. But there is no general method for finding them. The number of the integrating factor is always be the infinite. It may be that 1 by x square is one of them. If you multiply some another terms it can be again exact. There are the two ways you can find them integrating factors. Uh, in this lecture, we will see how you can find by inspection. In the next lecture, we will see some formula based integrating factors. What is that? If you think, if you look about these terms, if you try to solve any differential equation, if, if you find the term which is corresponding to this part, I can write this term in, instead of here as this. You can easily see, I can solve them here and so on. Similarly, apart from them, if you find some another terms like of x square plus y square, it will be of the tan inverse r. How you can remember that? I just tell you a simple rule. Whatever the problems are there, you have to look about the two terms are there. y dx, x dy or x dx, y dy. Whatever the signs are there. If you find this term which are present in the differential equation, then it may be of either this form y dx minus x, x dy or it can be of y dx minus x dy provided divided by y square or x y and so on. If the term is my x dx y dx then it can be of the x square plus y square. If it is a denominator side then it's a sum trans if the equations are here. Now let's see some examples are there. We will some say 7 to 8 examples so that you can easily understand. Very simple rule I will tell you, don't focus about this, you have to think about that, you have to see that this part is y dx m dy, you have to find that. On the right hand side there is a term of the dy, it means on the right hand side you need only terms which consist of the y, it means I don't need the x. So what you can do is I can divide x on both sides, what will happen here. So now is there any of the form? No, because if it is a divided by x, so if you turn here, it will be the x square. So it will not be x square. It means I can't divide it by x. I can divide it by x, y. If I take as x, y, can it be the form of the any, anything else? Yes, it is nothing but my here. So I can divide it by x. Now you can see the right hand side is only of the y. 
what do you think about that since it is a divided by here so it can be either of the tan inverse it can be either the log of this or it can be of uh, any of r there but it's a y dx so it means either r of here x upon y or y upon x so can you find that derivative of the log here this is nothing but my x upon y and y square of this can be cancelled out it means it will be y x upon here now you can integrate on the both side what will happen this is nothing but here this is nothing but y cube here is the right answer so you have to think about these terms are there look at the second part are there now here is the x dy can you find the terms of the y dx yes so you can firstly simplify them you can write like this way minus of the y dx and the other part is my x5 plus x cube y square of dx now since on the right hand side there is a term of the x on dx so i don't want a y here i can take y on this part i can take here as x cube common x square plus y square of dx so which term so i need only for the x part it means this component is the extra term i can take this part as of divided sign like of here now you can see that right hand side only of the x do you think which one is there think about that which term will consists of the x square plus y square are here either it can be of the tan inverse or it can be of the log of here but if you consider here what is the derivative of this it will be x square plus y square 2x dx plus 2y dy but we need a minus it means it of the tan inverse form b so you can write as tan inverse x upon y y is x because x appears first time if appear y here then you can write y by x now you can integrate them you will get the right answer look at the another term are here here is the x dy appear can you find the y dx also yes this is appear so you can pair them the rest you can take on the left right hand side this is the terms of the x here so this is also of the x there is no problem so do you think that which one is there there is no term of because if it is a plus then it will be my xy but since it's a negative so we have to divide something here so since this is the x are there so we have to divide it both side by x square what will happen are there do you find this term is there so once it will be x square so it means this is nothing but my here can you find the derivative of this x square x dy minus y dx you can see that they are same so what is the meaning of that this part is nothing but my y upon x this part is nothing but here now you can integrate them left hand side will be nothing but y by x right hand side is my 2 by x and of is the right answer look at the another part is there this is the x dy this is the y dx that's fine so i can take this part on the right hand side so this part is my here minus of 2 x square plus y square of dx now you can see this is the part of the x so i want x only on the right hand side so this is the part we need to divide on both side so i can write this part of here do you think that now you can see this is a plus sign so it means this is nothing but my log of here so if you take the derivative of this what will happen this is nothing but x square plus y square it's a 2x dx plus 2y dy so what is that i can uh, i can multiply and divide it by 2 on both side on here so what will happen here this part is nothing but my what is that this is nothing but my half ln of x square plus y square is nothing but my here now you can integrate them on both side you will get as half of this is there look at one more example are there now this is the x dy so you need a y dx are there is it there yes so you can open this bracket and you can simplify them here this is the term of the x here so i want y to be on the left hand side i can divide it both side by y square do you think here this is the y are there so it means this is nothing but my y is here so x upon y you can check that quickly this is the y square y dx minus of x dy you can see this is the same so it means this is nothing but my here you can integrate them you will get the right answer here look at this part again so you can see this is there is no y dx or x dy form you can see that there is no x dy and the y dx form so then how you can solve them you can pair them how you can pair them it can be written like this way x y i can pair them here now this is the x square and this is here but do you think that any of the term there is no term are there 
it means this inspection method is not applicable here so we can't find the inspection method because neither of the term is in the form of x dy plus minus of here it means this method is not applicable for this problem so for that we will try to look some another methods that is the formula based are there that is we will try to find the partial derivative derivatives and use either of them are there. how you can use them that we will see in our next class because till then you can simply practice all those problems which is the inspection method so we will see our next class how you can find the integrating factor based on these two formula till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning